Um, I hate to uh, bring up the orange bastard, but I've got to share with you something that Mark Fisher wrote at the uh, Washington Post today about Trump as Jesus. This is something I've been talking about for a long time. His Christian uh, demonic followers have elevated him almost to messianic stature, and Trump, of course, has pumped it all up. Trump is never one to uh, 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 negate or lessen any kind of obscene praise about him, even if it compares him to Martin Luther King Jr. or Nelson Mandela or Jesus Christ. I, I mean, the man is without morals. It's pretty obvious. He's without any sense of, of dignity or self-respect. He'll do whatever it takes to advance his thoughts, his well-being, his welfare. I wonder if Trump knows he's going to die eventually. I, I, I'd rather doubt it. I think he thinks he is going to have eternal life. I know some of his followers are drifting in that direction, right? But I, I want to share some of this with you because this is the essential point I've been making for a number of years now about this orange son of a bitch. Uh, he is just what he is. What really scares me are his followers, the ones who were willing to kill on January 6, 2021, the ones who are willing to defile, destroy, attack the seat of government in this country, the ones who are screaming about hang Mike Pence and bring Nancy Pelosi out. Can you imagine what they would have done to her? Trump is um, the kind of inciter-in-chief he is like Hitler in that regard. He is like Mussolini. Um, Hitler and Mussolini, horrible historic figures that they were, were both probably a thousand times smarter each than this orange son of a bitch that has landed here in the United States. But what Trump lacks in intelligence, he makes up for in his ability to connect his ignorance, his stupidity, with the ignorance and stupidity of so many Christian fascists. I don't think, uh, with, with a couple of exceptions, but I don't think there are any Muslims or Jews or Buddhists or, or Hindus who are ardent fans of Donald Trump. Uh, yeah, I'm making exceptions. I always try to ensure that there are exceptions to these generalized sweeping statements I make, but you know what I'm talking about. I think Trump being deranged the way he is and being off balance the way he is, I, I wonder at times, and this thing, uh, story I'm going to share with you, this article doesn't address this, but I wonder at times if he hasn't begun to internalize the praise and the uh, worship that his followers have, have, have seemed to attach themselves to. I, I, I can't believe this. Um, what was the expression by Ram Das? In order to find a perfect master, you've got to be willing to be a perfect slave. And that is what I see as having happened to these heretofore Christian nutcases who were so willing, since they can't seem to get a grasp on the Christian Messiah, Jesus of Nazareth. They just can't seem to, well, did he really live? Well, I know he did, but I wish I had something concrete to dig my fingernails into, and along comes Donald Trump. Let me share with you what uh, Mark Fisher wrote. Uh, he, he starts out by pointing out that when uh, uh, Trump's civil trial fraud trial, the one that's in uh, in session right now determining his punishment. When it began last week in New York, um, there, there were some drawings made or, or some graphics made that pictured him sitting along t alongside Jesus, <laughs> the archetypal martyr, Jesus. And there was Trump sitting next to Jesus. And and, and the, door, the orange bastard very quickly circulated that courtroom stet, a stretch, a sketch, come on, Mike, to his uh, social media followers. You know, selling it. Trump, Trump would sell his own mother, his own children. Uh, he, would, he would sell his fingers if he could figure out a way to remove them painlessly. Uh, he would sell Melania. He would sell anybody. 
But anyway, um, at his rallies and, uh, and in his fundraising letters, wherever he can find somebody who will look at him and, and listen and worship him, you know, that look on their face. Uh, now, remember, this guy that faces 91 fel- felony charges, four criminal trials, New York civil case, uh, and the very real possibility now, probability, I would say, of a court-ordered dismantling of his financial empire. But he's taken up a new mantra. And you've, you, you, you can see this headline plastered across the top of Trump's campaign website. This is what it says. They're not after me. They're after you. I'm just standing in the way. Oh, my God. At a Michigan rally a couple of weeks ago, where Trump allegedly went to talk to striking auto workers, which he did not. He talked to a bunch of fakes and phonies who, uh, according to all published reports, people who were paid to hold up signs saying they were an auto worker and they, they're not. But he said this at that stupid ass so called rally he was at in Detroit. He said, quote, Now I put everything on the line to fight for you. I've risked it all to defend the working class from the corrupt political class. I never heard of the word indictment, and now I get indicted like every three days. Now, I don't know how you process those kinds of sentences, but it doesn't take uh, a whole lot of uh, understanding of the, uh, the nature of a psychopath, or certainly a sociopath, to be able to see exactly that he's lost his fucking mind. I mean, he really has. I get indicted every three days. Well, asshole, that's because you're a lawbreaker. It's because you're a criminal. It's because you're scum. That's why. So for the past eight years, ever since he made the magical trip down the escalator, this orange bastard has tried to uh, present himself as a victim. And the attacks on him uh, are, are, are because he's, he's got such wonderful ideas for the United States. That's why they're attacking me. I mean, paranoia, okay. Paranoid schizophrenia, getting very close to it. Getting very close to it. He claims constantly that he has been, um, well, in a fundraising appeal last fall, he put it this way. I have been harassed, investigated, defamed, slandered, and persecuted like no elected leader in American history. End quote. Well, that may be true, you orange son of a bitch, but it's because you are the most criminal, the most criminal elected leader in American history, even all the way down to corrupt little county commissioners who wind up in jail for doing one one hundredth of the dirty deeds that you've done, you crazy bastard. Oh, my God. Now, this is nothing new, of course, as we all know by now, because we probably know more about this orange son of a bitch than we know about our next door neighbors. I mean, that's a given, I would imagine. But he's had these feuds for for, for decades. Back in the New York real estate world, a half century ago, uh, that's where it all began, up to his characterization in this new 2024 presidential campaign, he's calling it a final battle, a final battle, as what, predicted in Revelation, right? A final battle against those who would take him down. So what Trump has done, and the Christian idiots in this country have sucked this up like vampire bats, I swear. He has positioned himself as the one who will suffer (laughs) On behalf of his followers or customers, he'll suffer so that they don't have to. I mean, this is, this is the most corrupted form of Christian bullshit. This, this, this human sacrifice shit that the Christians want you to believe. Not only does Christianity promote cannibalism and vampirism, but it also promotes human sacrifice. I mean, come on. Now, of course, there are a lot of religions that do that, but I'm only concerned about the religion that is eating this country alive, turning us into rust. Oh, my God. Michael Cohen, you know, his former uh, consigliere, consigliere, um, his fixer, his attorney who, you know, broke with Trump, 
and spent more than a year, Cohen did, in prison after pleading guilty to campaign finance charges and lying to Congress, right? But Cohen said uh, for this article, he said, quote, to protect his incredibly fragile ego, he needs to create his victimization. The problem can't be him, so who else can it be? That's where the martyrdom comes in. He has to shift the blame on someone else, and then he can say, the only one standing in between them and you is me. This is what he's doing. Now, in a sense, you can't blame a grifter for being a grifter. I mean, you can't blame a a lawbreaker for being a lawbreaker. I mean, they are what they are, right? Right. I know that sounds very medieval, but, you know, for the sake of what I'm talking about here, I'm going to use that. You can't blame a grifter for being a grifter. You can't blame Trump for seeing this golden opportunity to present himself as the brother of Jesus Christ, who may wind up on the cross along with uh, Jesus Christ, in order to stimulate his uh, his cult followers to send him more money. Send me money. Vote for me. Ah! After his arraignment in New York, remember back in April, that was a case that uh, uh, involved his paying hush money to uh, 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 to the adult film actress that he denied he didn't even know. But that's when he said that, w- that was one of the first places where he started to clothe himself in this uh, bullshit of martyrdom. Uh, his campaign back then included a fake mugshot on a T-shirt if you remember that, and it was offered as a fundraising premium. All you have to do is send some money, send it to me, and I'll send you this wonderful T-shirt. Now, the Manhattan court had not taken any such photo of this lying, grifting son of a bitch at all. But back in August, here, uh, August of last year, uh, (laughs) come on, Mike, August a couple of months ago here in Fulton County, Georgia, um, they did release a mugshot of this orange bastard when he was booked in the Atlanta jail on trying to uh, uh, try to destroy democracy by interfering with the election results here in Georgia. And the orange bastard put the image on his campaign website and his social media account. And the Trump campaign claimed that they raised $4 million in one day, the day after he put that picture up there, the largest one-day haul of the campaign, according to the lying son of a bitch, Donald Trump. But this is how vile he is. Now, again, a grifter does what a grifter does. You know, you you can't blame uh, a scorpion for uh, jamming his stinger into the back of a frog. It's just what scorpions do even though the frog is trying to save the scorpion's life. Sorry, Mr. Frog, it's just what I do. The same is true of Trump. He is a lying, conning son of a bitch who would who would take advantage, uh, I've said this before, of his own mother, his daughter. And with every new charge, Trump sends out fundraising letters. And in those letters, he presents himself as... The victim of more attacks. The, uh, one of the latest quoted here says, this is what Trump wrote, quote, No matter what our sick and deranged political establishment throws at me, no matter what they do to me, I will endure their torment and oppression, and I will do it willingly. <laughs> our cruel and vindictive political class is not just coming after me. They're coming after you. End quote. And the Christian morons read this shit and they see this shit. Oh, it's just like our Lord and Savior Jesus 2,000 years ago. Oh, my God, look what they're doing to our beloved Donnie. Oh, oh no. Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. You know, the Progressive Voices Network brings you commercial-free commentary from today's leading progressive radio hosts and pundits like me, Mike Malloy, 24 hours a day. I'm not your typical old guy from the 80s or the 90s talk radio host, and Progressive Voices is not your typical talk radio network. It's a listener-supported nonprofit with no corporate control whatsoever over our broadcast. So hosts like me, Mike Malloy, are free to rant and scream and carry on about whatever we like. We're often controversial 
but we're never boring. Weeknights, 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, on the Progressive Voices Network. Always progressive, always on. I'm Mike Malloy. Keep it lit.